You're listening to Power 750 WAUG and online at power750.com. If you're looking for affordable health and insurance coverage, well, then give John Carolyn of the Roland Group a call. She's here to serve families, individuals, and small businesses. Contact her at 919-719-7211 or at 919-539-2492. Once again, contact Jonica Rowland of the Rowland Group. Thank you for tuning in once again to the Babe Tom Herman Show with your host here, Herman Thomas. And I'm trusting that you will enjoy your morning coffee on this Saturday morning with Babe Tom Herman. Now on today, I'm just going to go over a little of this, a little of that. Maybe that should be the title, a little of this, a little of that. But... First of all, before I do that, um, just a brief reminder that if you miss past shows for the Babe Tom Herman Show or of the Babe Tom Herman Show, you can feel free to go to YouTube and go to Babe Tom Herman channel and you'll be able to listen to all past broadcasts of this show. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Babe Tom Herman. I'll probably change that at some point to the Babe Tom Herman Show. But uh, at this time, it's at Bay Tom Herman. Also, please feel free to keep abreast of local sports. And when we talk about local sports, we're talking about our minor league team, the Durham Bulls. And we all know that the Durham Bulls are the triple A farm system team of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. And speaking of the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, um, they helped give the Yankees a 0-3 and three start. Major League Baseball began on last weekend. For most teams, the Yankees, I think, started on Friday night. They ended that Devil Ray series, opening series, down 0 to th- um, with a 0-3 and three record. You know, starting on 3, pitching's questionable. We know that Major League Baseball is probably the longest season of any sport, 162 games, so anything can happen in the next 150 so odd games. And with that being said, if you wanted to keep abreast of what's going on in Major League Baseball, you can go to their website at MLB.com. Once again, that's MaryLarryBob.com. Also, your favorite minor league team. Hopefully, it's the Durham Bulls. If not, feel free to check on any team that you cover in uh, minor league baseball. And you can just go to their website at milb.com that's Mary let's say Ingram Larry and Bob so Mary Ingram Larry and Bob dot com sounds a lot like a little house on a prairie but I think that's Ingles and not Ingram well anyway let's go to also national hockey is over for the season is over for many teams their playoffs have started. You can go to NHL.com and keep up with the uh, National Hockey League playoffs for this season. Unfortunately, for the Carolina Hurricanes, it's another short season for them. They finished the season at 33-33 and also 16 overtimes. You get points for going into overtime. So that means they was involved in 16 overtimes. Total points for the year, 82. Um, good or bad? Not bad. Not with the bad start, slow start they had, but certainly progress was made under head coach Kirk Muller taking over since the termination of Paul Maurice. So I look forward to a great upcoming 2012-2013 season. So feel free to keep up with off-season transactions for the Carolina Hurricanes. You can keep up with them at NHL.com as well. When I come back, I'm going to go over just a brief recap of what we talked about. Last week's topic was success or failure. Austin Rivers' tenure at Duke and Harrison Barnes' tenure, of course, at UNC. Also, I'm going to go over a little bit of a controversial statement that Dwayne Wade, uh, NBA star guard Dwayne Wade of the Miami Heat made that's causing a little buzz in the sports world this week. So keep enjoying your early morning coffee with Babe Tom Herman, and I will be right back after this message from our sponsor. Hey, a natural skincare studio. Now your new neighborhood skincare studio. Professional, friendly, relaxing, personalized attention. Now offering facials, natural manicures, pedicures, and waxing. Come check us out at 711 Iredell Street, Suite 3A, Durham, North Carolina, 
919-416-7707. Give us a call at 919-416-1490. Or check us out on our website at www.misseajbeauty.com. And once again, that's E and Natural Skin Care Studio, located at 711 Iredale Street in Durham, North Carolina, with the owner of that fine establishment, Miss Eugenia Jones. I wanted to go over a statement that Dwayne Wade of the Miami Heat, himself agreeing with Wade, Ray Allen, I'm sorry, I started to say Wade Allen, but Ray Allen of the Boston Celtics, that they believe NBA players should get paid to play in the Olympics. That's a catch-22 to me. That's a, a very much a catch-22. I don't think that either one of them, a player, should even say that. I think that agents should hint at it. Let your agent speak for you. That's bad public relations. I would have never come out as a player. Everybody feels like they should get paid something. So I would have definitely gave that information to my agent, my public relations people. Let them hint at it. But I wouldn't let people hear it from my mouth. That's terrible PR for them. I know that somewhere down the line, they're going to probably recant the statement. Or if they don't recant it, they're going to try to dress it up a little bit. But ter- a terrible PR move, public relations move on both of those players. I respect both of them deeply, but I think they made a major mistake coming out verbally saying that NBA players should get paid to play in the Olympics. Uh, college football. Remember, on today, UNC football fans kick off for the scrimmage. The spring football scrimmage will be held at Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill. Kickoff is at 3 p.m. What I'm hearing that the first half will be played like a regular game, with the exception of a running clock in the second half. So the clock will continue to run. Um, what I mean by that is normally during the incomplete passes, the clock will stop. It won't in the second half of this game. So once again, that will be at Keenan Stadium, UNC Spring Football Scrimmage at Keenan Stadium later on this afternoon at 3 p.m. And it's free to the general public. Now next week, April the 21st, NC State will be holding their KYL Spring Football game. And it will kick off will be at 3.30 p.m. And that's next Saturday, April the 21st. Now, They are asking for a minimum $1 donation to enter the game. And that, of course, will be going, those, all the donation will be going to the KYAL fund. So please remember these um, two spring spring football scrimmages that are happening this week and also next weekend. Now, also, I wanted to go over, you know, one of my recaps last week. What I was talking about was success or failure, Harrison Barnes at UNC, Austin Rivers, of course, at Duke. Many people consider it just a failure that these young men, their tenures at these fine institutions, and I went over why I thought it wasn't a failure, and you can go back and listen to all of that broadcast, last week's broadcast. You could go to, once again, my Yahoo, or I'm sorry, YouTube channel. Babe Tom Herman. But once again, that's YouTube, my channel at Babe Tom Herman, channel Babe Tom Herman. Now, I noticed that a lot of people, when you ask Duke fans, their reaction to Austin Rivers being one and done, leaving early, and also Carolina fans asking, when I asked them their thoughts on Harrison Barnes leaving early as well, you get different opinions, but the primary response I've noticed that I've been get, getting is basically their students. They should be trying to get their education. I don't know why the NBA doesn't make them stay for three years or the colleges make them stay for three to four years. Basically, they should be there to get an education. Well, if that's the case, like I said, if the NCAA is really serious about athlete, the student first versus the athlete second, let's, you know, they would, you know, let's just tell Mark Emmert, let's do this. And I know this is not going to happen. Let's go back to the 70s when the eligibility rules were in place. Let's go to the days that Lou Alcindor 
later on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Jabbar didn't play his freshman season because freshmen were not allowed to participate in collegiate sports or at that time in college basketball of course David Thompson he didn't play his first year at NC State he wasn't eligible because once again freshmen were ineligible to play basketball let's go back to those days that'll never happen that will never happen in a million years let's remember why the term student athlete was crafted anyway the NCAA crafted that term back in the 50s then under President Walter Byers it was crafted and embedded into colleges reminding them these are student athletes and also for the court systems so they wouldn't have to pay any work related or workman's compensation death benefits because back then a lot of football players were getting killed during games they were actually dying of football related collisions or football related injuries that's why that term was crafted student athlete now it comes into play now the oh they should be students first athlete second one thing I noticed last week I watched a show used to be uh, the TV channel used to be versus is now NBC Sports where Bob Costas had an open forum about some of the issues that's going on in the world of co uh, college sports and one interesting thing that he brought up when Mark Emmett president of the NCAA who agreed to be on the show but didn't agree to have anybody on the panel up there with him acting all presidential but at least he showed up so we got to give him mad props for that but it was Bob Costas who asked him or referenced him and said if you all are so serious about the student why don't we go back to those days why don't we go back to the days that Lou Alcindor couldn't even play because he was a freshman the days that I said earlier that David Thompson couldn't play. Let's go back to those days. The, the NCAA, in my opinion, is full of bull when it comes to that. Full of pure garbage. They talk out of one mouth. They talk out of one, like old people used to say, my, my grandmother used to tell me, that you talk out of both sides of your mouth. And that's what I'm getting from the NCAA. That's what I'm getting from Mark Emmer. Especially when he was asked the question about the one and done rule. Mark Emmert sat right there in his chair and told Bob Costas there's over 5,500 Division I men's basketball players. Out of those, less than 15 of those players, one and done, classification, freshmen, will be entered in the 2012 NBA draft. Okay, you might be saying, why am I bringing this up? He even admitted that it's not that big of a problem. Now, all of a sudden, weeks ago, the NCAA was troubled by it. They want to see the age go up. But on this particular show, I don't see it a big issue. Not word for word from what he's saying. I don't want him coming back soon. Me. But on this show... He sat there and said there's no big problem with the one and done. Just less than 15 players out of 5,500 are leaving under the classification of one and done. And he sits right there and states that the only reason it's receiving so much press is because most of the guys that go one and done are on TV. Their teams are on TV. Basically because of the exposure they get. The exposure that TBS, Turner Sports, and CBS Sports paid the NCAA $700 million or $770 million per season for the big dance alone. 